I really need to go to bed because I keep finding things that I want to bring to you guys. This is just too much. This this is this is getting like it's getting out of hand. Okay, now we have people on Craigslist that are posting ads for crisis actors. So we have and, and and the FBI steps up for this. FBI addresses mock crisis event conspiracy theory about Houston. The FBI is addressing a mock crisis event conspiracy theory about Houston on Twitter. Um, in a tweet Thursday, the FBI in Houston said it's aware of uh, uh, said it's aware of the social media posts calling for actors to participate in a mock crisis event on March. Fourth, The FBI said it is also aware that some have interpreted these posts as a threat, but said there's no credible threat to the Houston area. Huh. It's a weird way to word it. And it, now this is what's really interesting is, um, I guess the mock crisis event hoax, they call this a hoax, originated as an ad on Craigslist that read crisis event, you know, when and where. And, but it says the FBI did not address whether the request for mock training drill actors was legitimate, just that no credible threat existed. That's what I'm trying to get people to pay attention to is what they actually say. And then what they don't say, the way that they word things. The FBI never said whether the request for a mock training drill actors was legitimate. That within itself is, is, doesn't sit right with me. Not that I necessarily even believe that that ad posted on Craigslist is true at all and I will tell you why for real crisis actors and events they go to a site like this now when I move over to Patreon there's going to be way more detail into all of these crisis acting sites and their affiliates what they do, and how they actually pull off what they pull off. But in the meantime, I'm just going to let you know that a site like this, which has award-winning role play actors and filmmakers specially trained in disaster and crisis management, I mean, look at the slogan, in a crisis, revert to training. Oh, they are just professional, aren't they? Our role play actors are psychologically trained in criminal and victim behavior. They're about results, right? We act for a wide range of clients, from private individuals to multinational organizations and everything in between. So, when they pull off what they've been pulling off lately, you got to ask yourself, do you think that they would use a company like this or post an ad on Craigslist like they were trying to get rid of an old couch? Huh. Huh. Makes you wonder. Or maybe they are just getting really bold. I mean, why would the FBI refuse to say that it was a fraudulent ad? And if so, why haven't we heard anything about any um, perpetrators being arrested for posting an ad claiming that they were looking for crisis actors that ensued into a bunch of mass hysteria about um, something bad going to happen to the Houston area. I mean, you would think that the FBI would be able to just easily 
track who posted an ad on Craigslist, right? Hmm. It's just something to think about. And um, <laughs> let me know what you think about all of this going on because I'm getting just about tired of the word crisis in 2000.